In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily create this countdown timer in Premiere Pro. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, starting out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clip down on the timeline, so the first thing I'm gonna do to create this timer is go over to the project table, right click, go over to new item, and click on transparent video. Make sure these settings match your sequence settings and press OK, and click and drag that transparent video above the clip on your timeline. Then what I wanna do is create how long I want my timer to be. So I'm gonna grab the playhead and extend that out to about 30 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is click and drag that transparent video out to that 30 second mark. Next, I'm gonna just drag that playhead back to the very beginning, and then I'm gonna go over here to these double arrows and click on effects. Then what I'm gonna do is type in time code. I'm gonna click and drag time code onto that transparent video. Then I'm gonna go over to effect controls, scroll down under the time code effect, and I'm gonna to start to make these changes. The first thing I wanna remove is this little dot here. So I'm gonna remove the field symbol by unchecking this box. Then I wanna make sure the format is set to SMPTE. Time code source should be set to generate. So that's gonna start everything from the very beginning. And then time display needs to be set to whatever frame rate your video is. Mine's 24, so I'm going to set it to 24. I can also play around with the opacity. So if I bring this up to 100%, you can see that it creates that black solid background, or I can change it all the way down to zero and it completely removes that background. I'm just gonna leave it at zero. And the last thing that I can do is adjust the size and position. So I can make this a little bit bigger. About right there looks good for me. And I can adjust the position wherever I want it to be located at within the frame. Once I'm happy with how that looks, I now wanna remove the number of hours as well as the number of frames. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back over here under effects and I'm going to type in crop. Click and drag crop onto the transparent video, scroll down, and then I just want you to select the crop effect. And that should bring up this blue box here. What I'm gonna do is click and drag in the left side until you can no longer see the hour. And then I'm gonna also click and drag in the right side till you can no longer see the frames. That looks pretty good to me. Then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and let it play back. And that's starting to look pretty good, but instead of having it count up, I wanna make sure it counts down. So in order to do that, I'm first going to click on the transparent video, right click, go up to nest, press okay. Then what I'm gonna do is click on that nested footage again, right click, go up to speed duration, and then check the reverse speed box here, and then press OK. Now, when I start it from the beginning and play it back, it counts all the way down from 30, just like that. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.